What's the average size I should make for an overlay? I'm doing custom template just to mess around, but don't know if I should. Honestly, there should I'm there is a standard size. Um, I think I downloaded some projects that have the standard size. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's not it. That's for something totally different. This is for like your images and shit. Ignore that. Um I don't know. Let's uh let me look it up. What is a standard overlay size? Let's see, according to, let's see, I need numbers, let's see, oh, I'm digging this song, this is nice, also make sure my size is input, for instance, if you're putting it to blah, 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 I'm scaling all this, it's like make sure you're over Let's see, an overlay size, you should probably set up your um, your template, your size of your new document to about 1920 by 1080. Oop, 1080. But it also depends on what your resolution size is for like whatever whatever you're using OBS. So if this doesn't work, the 1920 by 1080, because it may end up being stretched or squished, we go to stream settings. And you're gonna look at your um, your video settings, and whatever you see up there, whatever that says in OBS. So if it says like 1600 by 900 you're going to want to use that. But if you're using a full like 1080p, you're going to want to use a 920 by 1080. Or 1920 by 1080. So since I'm constantly using 1600 by 900, I'm going to want to use that. Maybe even a size bigger. The only reason I'm saying a size bigger because you can put the image in there and it'll scale it down to that. The more pixels you use, the better. The less pixels you use, the more pixelated it's going to be. Not in inches. You want to do it in pixels. And make sure it's on landscape, not uh, not portrait. No, oh, wait. Right? Landscape is the sideways one. Um, You could do pixels in pixel inches, but if your Photoshop says pixel inches, then you might want to use pixel inches if... It says pixels, just pixels, then you're fine because you're going to be working with digital stuff, digital images. The only time you want to use inches is when you're printing stuff. Just like this resolution, I'm going to set it to 300 because it's going to give me the most out of the pixel ratio. Although 300 is mainly reserved for printing, 72 is like your standard for, for, for a digital image. But I like using 300 because, like, I, I get to play around with more uh, more pixels. And make sure you set it to RGB color, not CYMK. CYMK is also reserved for for printing. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I figured out why my colors weren't showing up correctly whenever I put that uh the background out for my timeouts. This background kept coming out, coming out the wrong color, and I figured out why. It's because it was a CYMK image and not an RGB one.
Let's see, and then the best thing about this is you can even title this and it'll and it'll stay as a custom thing. So I'm gonna name this overlay creation. And click create. And bam, you got your first fresh fresh palette. Not fresh palette, fresh canvas to work with. And you can do all sorts of like crazy stuff and stuff like that. You also gotta think about what's gonna be in the center of your image too. So like if I were to go to let's go to my Twitch. I'm gonna go to my Twitch and I'm gonna take a uh, a screenshot of, of that. The obvious outliers you're looking for. Go to channel course I am streaming currently and I want to put it on full screen um, best thing to do this with would be to go to the little snippy thing where's the snippy thing there it goes snipping tool you want to go to snipping tool and you want to hit new and you want to go to the screen that you're using um, twitch on and you want to take a like from corner to corner you want to take that and you want to save that file and that's what you're also going to throw into um, into your Photoshop document but you'll hide it later once you're ready to save out what you want and the reason why you're taking this screenshot is get some reference going So I'm naming this screenshot reference window and I'm going to go to place. Where is my place thing at? I'm going to go to import. No, there should be a button for place. Where is it? All right, control D to get rid of that selection box. Let's see. Open recent. No, where are? There we go. You want to place? You want to go to place embedded, and just go to where I saved that screenshot, where my reference stream window is. Place it in there, and this is what you're going to use for reference of where you're going to start putting your banner and stuff like that. So the, these black edges and stuff like that, that's because I have my uh, my window cropped inside of OBS. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I do transparent background because I don't I don't I don't like having that white background because it hurts my eyes. I can get it to start with whatever background I want. I just I start fresh with a checkered uh, transparent background. Um. I don't know if I've told you, like I have like a light sensitivity sometimes, so if something that's blaring white on the screen, it just fucking it just feels like it's piercing my skull. <laughs> like I have to give my times uh, my eyes time to adjust. And you want so you can play with this image. You want to kind of rasterize this, and then you're you're gonna want to lock this layer. And you're gonna create a new layer after that. And you want to name it, uh, I guess you can name it reference points for right now. Yeah, honestly, if I wanted to start with a background, I'd start off with like a mute gray, um, a lot of artists do that whenever they're just like doing a normal simple sketch or something like that. They'll have a colored brush set to their sensitivities or whatever on their uh, pen for drawing tablets. And they'll just draw on top of the gray thing. But they'll draw it on a new layer and keep that background layer locked. So now that I got, now that I got this like reference stream window uh, locked, I can make reference points. And you can kind of like mark off 
with like a bright color or something like that. Uh, I'm going to choose like a bright blue. And you want to just like mark off where where you think the screen's going to be the busiest. So the busiest part of this screen and it depending on the style of uh, stuff that you want to. So like right here is going to be like the that's the chat window that I have up. Later I'm probably going to set this up for like for gaming or stuff or whatever. But if you want to use this chat window to your advantage because that's invisible, you can create something going this way. So right here can be like your name or whatever. And you can keep it minimal or whatever. If you have another feed that you want going on, you can even you can even scale this down with still big letters so the chat's right here and then move this this way and create another layer and then choose a different color of how that would look just so you can get a better idea you can move this to like center out kind of thin it out hide the other layer and that's what that might look like uh, you can create a new layer and do another different bright color and this is just to get a good idea difference between linked and embedded linked it's gonna stay linked to that image inside of your folder embedded it's gonna embed it inside of the deal inside of Photoshop and what you do is just you'll just go to your layer and then right click and then rasterize it and then it becomes part of it becomes a Photoshop image and you don't have to worry about it staying linked to the image that's in a folder So the idea for mine is I'm probably going to keep the chat probably to, to about this good size. So I got to I got to figure out what that pixel size is. I'm probably going to move the name over and just have it um right here and then sort of have my logo right there. Hide that. So now that I got that out of the way, I can do something on a brand new layer. Actually, let's get this chat window kind of like marked off because you can hide it later. And you can just fill it with a color. Bring the opacity down. Um, you can do another color for this one. Let's do an orange. So something that your stream name is probably going to rest on top of. Like that. And then you want to make one for, depending on what, what your logo is, so my logo's a, like I set I set my logo up as a circle. Oh my god, come on. Come on. We can do this Photoshop. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch to mouse. My pin's not working properly. So since my logo is a circle, I can bring it up to this edge. I'm going to do this like a bright purple and stuff like that. Control D, and that's where that's going to sit. So this will be like a good reference point of what that, that layout is going to look like. So if I do one, so rasterize after embedded, keeps it keeps from image for reverting back to its original size. Yes? I mean, if you scale it, when you bring it in there and you scale it, and you, then after that you rasterize it, it's gonna it's gonna stay whatever size you scaled it to. So what you want to do is, as soon as you bring it in there, rasterize it, and then you can scale it to whatever you want. I mean, regardless, scaling is pro is not the best thing to do. 
the reason I brought in a reference image is in there. Reference image in there is so you can see the busiest part of your screen because you like you want the everybody to see your game and we'll see your banner as well. But you you want them to see your game a lot. So the way I'm setting this up is, is like if I'm doing this for myself and like I have chat box, I have my logo. Where's my pen? There it is. So like I have the oops. So like I have the chat logo and then name. And then down here you could probably put like your Twitter feed or something like that. So you can put your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever social media you want and then you can even have like some scrolling text in here or something I don't know I think if I were to go through with this overlay it'd look like shit but this is a good way to get some ideas down But yeah, uh, rasterizing doesn't necessarily keep it from scaling. Rasterizing just makes sure it it keeps its pixel ratio uh, from when it when it originally started. So when you rasterize it, if you scaled it before you rasterized, it's going to keep that pixel ratio. But if you never scaled it before you rasterized, it's going to keep that pixel ratio. But if it's just a reference image, and it's going to be the biggest thing on there anyways, like how I'm doing it, doing it right now, um, you don't have to like scale it. You just keep it in the center of the screen. Yeah, I don't think I would go with this layout in the first place. <laughs> but then again, this is because I'm using blaring colors. I, I'd have to actually have to see what it looks like. I'd have to put my logo there. I'd have to put my name there. Uh, keep the chat up right there. But that was just like an idea. It started from like this, to that, to that, to like what might be. And you can bring opacity down, opacity down just to see what it, what's hiding it. Or what's hiding behind it, you know? Because you don't want to cover too much of your screen. But I think a good... A good, like, height and width would probably be... About this far down. Because then... You would have, like, a good chunk of the screen. Like that and this far up sort of like mimicking a letterbox for uh, for a movie so that way you have this amount of screen space to play with you know So you got all this screen space to play with, but then you'll have this. And I know, I know, you want people to see your name. And honestly, yes, the name should be like the biggest thing on the screen. So like you can reserve a smaller spot, like how you have currently. But you can play around with that where you have it set it set down and stuff like that. You can even have this thing look like a uh, like a profile, uh, like a social media profile. You can have it set up like that to where you have your main image right here your name next to it that way all of your all of your content can be seen all right here So 
So like logo name and then all down there is your content and then you can still have your social media down here I remember what we were talking about and I have an idea for your stuff but I don't know, I'd have to show you first. That way whenever you're playing KI, KI or something like that, or you can even have it set up like a KI thing, like Killer Instinct. You know? That way you can make, make one of these, make something like this, to where you have your logo, your name, and you can like set up something that looks like a uh, looks like a little health bar or something. Hell, I mean, take a screenshot from whenever you're playing Killer Instinct without your overlay and use that as reference to how you want your next overlay to be. Because you can set it up to look like whatever you want. You just gotta, you gotta know what kind of theme you want. Yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta talk about what's needed, what, what kind of theme you want to run with, if there is a theme, or do you want to keep it chill and simple? Yeah, like I said, this this is a good way to get ideas down, like sketching over it, making a bunch of layers, you know. Because this helps. Like, this is my screen right now as it is on Twitch with the little chat box in it. And because of the center part right here, that's that's the good reference for me. Dude, I'm going to make a highlight of that. <laughs> because that's like some shit I wasn't even thinking about right away. And, I'm, and, then I, and I just like... You know what? If I was going to make an overlay legitimately, that's what I would be doing. But I'd say play around though. Play play around with it, find out what what you what, what you like, what you don't like. What uh who do you, you kind of want to like encompass? as a as your stream thing or whatever this window's missing a window Boop. Mm -hmm. 